Okay, let's talk about how to calculate slope over a landscape. And so what we want to do is we've got this digital elevation map here. And instead of having the elevation of every cell in this DEM, we want to have the slope at that cell. Uh, so we can see which areas of the landscape are steepest. And so let's go up into the command search. And if you can imagine, what I'm going to search for is slope. And we're, there's a lot of different options here. The one we want is spatial analyst. So we're going to click on slope spatial analyst. Give it your input raster. Importantly, if you have a hillshade um, or other derived things in your um, uh, like things that you derive from a DEM or other raster data sets in your project, be careful not to select those. If you do the slope of a hillshade, that the values that you're going to get are totally meaningless because the values in a hillshade are just a visualization tool. They don't have like a concrete meaning in terms of the landscape. Similarly, you can't put like a upslope accumulated area raster in here and have it calculate slope because that's going to calculate the slope of the, basically the change in values in the upslope accumulated area. So you're going to see the slope of the upslope accumulated area, not the slope of the terrain. And so be sure that you choose your DEM is the long and the short of it there. Um, so we're going to call this slope brush. The other important thing to uh, remember here is for your output measurement, be sure to choose the correct, the one that you want, degree or percent. These are very different. Degree uh, is the the uh, angle of the slope, whereas percent rise is rise over run times 100. So they give very different results. What I like to do is put it in the name. So if I'm going to choose degree here, I'm going to do slope brush DEG, because that tells me that I have uh, that the output is in degrees. And then I don't have to remember or play around with the data to figure out what I did. Let's go ahead and do run. And here we go. So the darker values are where we have a steeper slope and the lighter values, we have a less steep slope. So you can see the steep slopes are on the slope of the mountain. And then we also have these flatter areas that are along the ridge um, and then flatter areas down in the valley. So. That's how you can create some slope coverages.